looking at maybe in the next couple of years is that we should have this course. Uh, maybe you know uh, there, there should be people out in the north who should be running a course similar to to ours. Same standards, same um, uh, same modality, so that there is no um, like you said. You know you standardized colonoscopy in UK, and that's brought out the result. In the recent audit, ninety-two uh, percent sequence rate. Ninety-two percent sequence rate was really, that's really good. Based that's on a study in the UK. That's average. Yeah, that's average. Ninety-two percent sequence rate. And that's, that's gone up from commerce. fifty-two in the last thirteen years, twelve yes. years, something like that. So there's 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 an absolutely amazing complete loop of an audit where they audited their service, found out it was not good, and put some measures in place, re-audited, showed that that whatever effort they made has brought it to in line with what is uh, probably better than most parts of the world. Um, and so I think, you know, that was really good, um, the training thing. And the other thing is that um, we'll obviously need to know, um, sit down and, and try and formulate. What I was thinking while you were talking was that uh, the Pakistan Society of Gastroenterology uh, can be, the muscle of Pakistan Society of Gastroenterology can be used uh, to influence or to, to wake up the government, the health department. And uh, what I was thinking while sitting there was that I can, I can sit down with the government guys who are controlling the issue. Let's have the elections. Let's know who's coming, and then maybe start endoscopy services and to start with colonoscopy services regulation as a first regulatory thing in the health system in Pakistan. And that's something that we we can formulate a paper. Um, I think whoever comes in the next government, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to convince them to do this as a pilot project. I think at this present moment time, really you've got some people here who are at the, just opening the door. It's an exciting time. And the thing is, is that you people here are here to witness what's being offered. And these guys, and I'm looking at them, I'm looking at yourselves because we're, 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 we're only 10 years left. Yeah, you're the future. You know, and you've got 20, 30 years left. So you're here, you've witnessed this, and you can take it forward. And that's the most important thing. And you'll remember what it was like. You've witnessed it. And you can actually see that there is a definite change in the UK of what we produce, what the standards are. And it has to be witnessed. These 92% isn't made up. It is witnessed. It is actually evidenced. And that's the most important thing that we get from it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed that. Hopefully, and when I go back, I'll be meeting with Brian next week. Um, Yes. Right, this is Wolverhampton, is he? Huh? Is he Wolverhampton? Yeah, Newcross. He's at Newcross. He's at a Euro Storm Plant. Huh? He's at Newcross yeah. before he actually joined him. Yeah, he's, he's, a, is, he's uh, a brilliant, he's retired. Yeah, I know. I spoke to Ed, uh, he was doing some, he was going for some sea thing. Uh, yeah. Very long trip, three months or two months. Yeah, he was taking himself on a world cruise. Uh, I saw the world cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thingy Bob. So Andy Veach was asking about you as well, by the way. Yeah, Andy Veach. So, yeah. yeah. Wolverhampton. Andy Veach asked you in his normal way. How oh, sad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's very nice of him. <laughs> that is very good. <laughs> but uh, well, it's, I, I saw Wolverhampton. I was going to ask, and I said, "You let it go. We will wait and yeah. see." So that's where I learned uh, whatever colonoscopy I learned was in Wolverhampton. I learned, I practice it in, with my bosses in Dudley, but some of the concepts I got was, was from it, so. Because when Brian went, he then took the lead of training, because Ed was very involved in a lot of things. Yeah. And Ed took the lead uh, initially, and then he slowly went over to Brian, and then Brian was just taking the full of to take it out. And um, he's a good man. Great, so we have now so far done, uh, thank you Paul, thank you so much for all the support and help and this wouldn't be possible without, uh, without Paul, so we all have to be really in debt, we are, we are in debt forever. Um, we've done four colonoscopies and uh, on the live cases, so we've got to do 11 more, let's get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, um, we've, we've done that loop, give us something else.